Hey, what you see right now is Ganges. We are on the bridge. We are moving from Patna to uh, Siliguri. We are West Bengal. Hey, you, you might be wondering, what happened to from Varanasi to Patna? You didn't tell us. You didn't intimate us. How did you go off there? And why didn't you tell us anything about it? <laughs> yes, I will do tell you. Okay, uh, I was actually fed up of uh, being in UP. UP. Okay, and uh, I couldn't bear the heat, uh, traffic, and all that. So I said, "Hell with it! I'm gonna go over from here." And uh, so I decided I'll go to you know uh, Bihar. I mean, which is three degrees centigrade less. And then uh, when it starts raining here, it rains here a little later. Um, uh, no, after it's uh, you know sets uh, onsets in uh, South India. So in, in the month of let's say July August it, it should be comfortable here is what I think uh, so I thought I will come back okay and uh, but let me get out of here and because I'm not enjoying uh, the weather okay and I will talk about the weather also okay if you've not seen the earlier video I will talk about it. hey how how long is this bridge man how long is this bridge I can't imagine. Hey, in Bangalore, how how uh, how uh, long is that electronic city flyover? Look at this, look at this. It's all dry here right now, okay. But uh, during the peak season of monsoon, this would be all filled up with uh, river Ganga. How beautiful that might look, okay. So uh, I was fed up. Then I said, three degrees centigrade. Let me go to Patna. And I had Google and seen there were some places to see. Uh, so I decided let me go off there. It was just a two fifty three kilometer drive. It's supposed to be easy, but it took me seven hours. I then understand the kind of the roads that I had to drive on. Not only not only the driving part of it. Okay, I never got the uh, the the mood or the urge to even shoot anything or capture because absolutely it was flat land. Okay, the land was flat like flat. Okay, and uh, it it didn't have any beauty. I mean, at least there would be some some lake, uh, some kind of a small hill, something of that sort. Absolutely nothing. Okay, and uh, the season that I was driving, it was mid June, and uh, hey, still the bridge is this long. It's already two minutes twenty seconds up. Okay, is this going to end or not? Okay, and uh, so um, uh, so the the uh, you know the cultivation had not it started, and so the greenery was not there. There were no trees next to the the road for me to stop, and uh, you know just get some uh, fresh air. I mean, my back was hurting. I was getting exhausted driving, and uh, even though it's a short drive, 250 kilometers, you know that we can actually do it in four hours in many parts of the country. But here it was not the case. Okay, and. Um, it's it's a, it's a different ball game altogether. So uh, then uh, it says there was nothing, nothing to do. So he, this is still long, three minutes up, three minutes up. I didn't do any kind of research on this bridge. I just came off. I didn't know. I mean, uh, I decided to leave at six o'clock. But even then, the traffic is tra tra traffic is heavy here. Okay, so. Uh, so what happened was then I, I said I will I will leave and uh, I came to Patna. Patna again, it, it was so confusing for me to uh, see. And the day I, I, I came, it was a Sunday, and the next day happens to be holiday for most of the uh, you know uh, places that you know that could, that could be visited in Patna. I said then what's the point of staying here? Then uh, I decided I leave Bihar in total. Totally I will leave Bihar, go off to uh, Sikkim. Gangtok, but that was like 11 and a half hours drive. That's too too long. I thought I will I will stop somewhere, but where to stop? All of Bihar is still hot. This is going to be four minutes now. The bridge is not ended. Is this is this really that big? Is is Ganga this big? I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. Then imagine imagine the amount of water which is going into the ocean. Yeah, imagine the amount of water. And I'm proud that I've tracked the trail. I've tracked the trail from beginning. I didn't go to Gangotri, um, where it starts as Bhagirathi, and then when it joins at Devprayag, at, at uh, you know with uh, Alakkananda, and forms Ganges. Okay, I've, I, you know, I've tracked the trail. I mean, it's it's good. Okay, so uh, to say so, uh, uh, then I said, uh, let me go off to. Uh, you know, West Bengal, Siliguri, Darjeeling, and uh, Gangtok. Spend some time there, and then come back uh, uh, when the weather gets better, and then at least explore. Okay, I thought uh, then I will explore. I mean, uh, otherwise, I mean, actually, if you Google and see, there's nothing much, uh, nothing much available actually to see. Okay, and uh, okay, 
and soon absolutely nothing much hey this is ne never ending man this is never ending this is 5 kilometers when is this going to end when is this going to end no i don't want it to end it is something new something new that i've i've learned right okay so um, uh then we will explore actually you know i put i mean i need to talk about cities okay and um, i mean the cities and holidays which is most important uh, for us okay and um, see we talk about holidays holidays is people consider holiday as uh, I know uh, when they get off work by the business of work or uh, from school or college or whatever it is they take, consider it as a holiday or come saturday you look at this the vegetation is started here and in this is do we water going to come till here i seriously uh, i think i i doubt it it might you know uh, come uh, it might be this far okay but um, the people who built the bridges are no fools okay otherwise they would have found if they had found a flat land you know when they would not waste money on the bridge okay unless they are they are corrupt officials and <laughs> i think it's uh, the bridge is coming to an end it is so we will continue our talk uh, and carry on with the journey and uh, let me explain ex express my feeling about cities and holidays which will make some sense for you see you soon don't go anywhere i knew you <clears throat> you would have wanted to see my face and why only show the the footage and uh, you, you would have definitely said you just showing me uh, you know uh, things which is happy why don't you show me a face where many other people do always keep showing their face and less of uh, the background i pr probably prefer to show you uh, the things happening around rather than showing my my face <laughs> i know i'm handsome about um, okay and i hope you last, saw the last footage you saw how big the bridge was okay at least that is definitely going to be 5 kilometers long okay and uh, in in prime season if we do visit ganga at that point of time okay it would be beautiful is what i feel about it it would be definitely beautiful and um, the intensity that it would uh, flow uh, also is is quite imaginable okay so uh, let me continue uh, what i was saying to tell you about the holidays in the cities okay and uh, let me give you my perspective okay and uh, my perspective does say that when we say we we want a holiday okay we want to go on a, we want a holiday and we want to go on a holiday if you want a holiday it means what you're tired of doing whatever you've been doing you want to break from that and even suppose if you you just wanting a two day break suppose you get a week or 10 day break or 15 day break you'll go mad saying that i don't want this big break because you're not used to it you're not used to you know getting that kind of a big break and were you told that you will get a 40 day holiday when the covid happened you would have gone mad you would have really gone mad you would I mean, probably there would have been more divorces a thank goodness to uh, modi ji who never told us that it would be a 40 day straight break he he told us in installments 7 days 7 days 7 days lavan he just pushed it okay and people are not used to taking holidays okay in the sense they they're not used to you know getting a break the all they want is one day break two day break three day break that's all they would want that is how that is how their mindset is uh, being uh, uh, you know being made is what i feel about it okay and um, okay so to uh, so now they want a break and they want to get out of it where do you go where we are most of the people are concentrated in in cities most of the people are concentrated in cities is what i imagine because they tend to drift from wherever they are they tend to drift from wherever they are come to city for uh, in the in the hope of making more money in the hope of getting more recognition they do come and from there they want a holiday two day in two days three days where in the world will you go from wherever you are consider you are in bangalore just for a hypothetically saying if you are in bangalore with in two days for you to go and come the maximum where can you go you will end up spending more time driving okay and uh, in in travel rather then actually exploring the place okay and you say you went on a holiday and you came back and you are content with it probably you will go back to the same place 100 times because you can't go anywhere else because you don't have time permit even if you given more time even if you given more time you don't know how to deal with it you can see not used to it that's the fact that's the fact that even people the people needs to acknowledge okay so um, i hope you got that now people tend to come to cities 
people come to city why why would you want to go to a city why would you want to settle down in a city suppose you want to go on a trip to see a city you go to want to see a city and um, you will want to compare it to places like singapore and things like that because you, they have infrastructure you go to a city you want to see a city you want to make the city a holiday destination but but do you get to see what you want to see do you have better roads no worse than what is in the village seriously it's worse than what is in the village okay that's one second okay um just hold on just hold on for i'm confused where where to <laughs> okay going at uh, th this is this is a national highway this is a national highway they're still doing the roads on the left look at that it's two way traffic on this side you will not see this kind of a stuff in uttarakhand they are so well prepared already they they you you will not see uh, that they will want to go build a new road the the roads are already built there why the rest of the country doesn't follow them i don't know about it okay so the whole the cities you come you want to you want to see better things than whatever you experience in your current city or town or village that you live in but what happens finally you don't get what you want i have understood because i've i've been traveling and when i was in bangalore which is which happens to be my hometown i never had my own vehicle i gave up give my own vehicle in the year 2007 i didn't want to have any vehicle of that sort imagine i'm talking about 23 years ago 23 years ago itself i gave up my vehicle because traffic irritation which which the traffic was mind you was very less uh, compared to what it is now i gave up because i didn't want to get frustrated i didn't want to it's more or less like ending a life with, because of the frustration the irritation okay and uh, what you what in city that you see is you expect civilized people but you don't find you expect better roads which you will not find okay you know what you will definitely find okay the people are not there for me first you next listen to this carefully people people in cities are not like me first you next no people are like you are never first just look at the look at people driving on the road okay look at people driving on the road the fast moving vehicles fast which could move fast they are going slow and they will block the road they will block the road making sure that you don't go that's the mentality of people that is the mentality haven't you seen that haven't you seen that look at this okay this road i mean this is supposed this is a highway highway and <laughs> when when are people going to improve man when are people going to improve the people who are in charge of running i don't know you know the states and and the the country seriously needs to be changed and the person who's going to come in i don't think how how well he he or she might know how to run how to make things happen so you you understand so i mean you want to get out of the city i mean if you, you are in the city but you are helpless because you came back you you coming from a place where you didn't have that much of, much of an opportunity that's why you settled down in the in in the cities right okay that happened so now what what do you do okay the holiday that you go down to okay i believe that it it has to be some kind of a learning experience that we learn from the place or it should be something that you have not seen and you enjoy that beauty and go back with you you cherish every moment of it you love every moment of it and uh, you live every moment of it and you tell that moment to a lot of people about it okay so that is what you expect right but what i've realized is what i've really realized when you go to a city the first thing that you will want is get out of the city that's not a holiday that is definitely not a holiday and you may say that why in the world hasn't it shaved <laughs> coming to that part in varanasi that i was yesterday i left i don't know what mind i left all my toiletries i left there this morning 5 o'clock uh, you know i thought i'll go for a jog and all that i went out okay uh, and came back uh after i realized that this is you know this is missing okay no shops are open the traffic is open no shops are open but the traffic is open that's it that's the truth and i was thinking that how will i get out even without brushing my teeth okay that's what and that's what i thought finally uh, the place where the guest house that i said he spared me you know, a little bit of toothpaste and i had a spare brush okay I, but i didn't have my shaving kit with me so i left all that okay and anyway so the, to continue with it uh, now that uh, uh, i mean see in patna sorry in bihar 
this is a place where uh, you can say that uh, you know uh, buddhism jainism were all you know born from here okay buddha was born here there's a lot of history behind it there's a lot of history seriously be- but be- behind it but i'm not staying here maybe i will come back when the season changes okay maybe when the season changes i will come back but this is not the season definitely that i want to be in okay because i'm on a holiday okay i don't want to torture myself but it is a torture for me to drive yesterday i drove 253 kilometers okay 7 hours drive 253 kilometers 5 hours drive you talking about a national highway then understand the the, the kind of the condition the road is in today that the drive will be 450 kilometers but it's already saying 11 hours okay and in 11 hours even if you don't if we don't talk to you for 1 hour then i think that uh, it is not worth it for you to see my videos any- anymore because if i'm just going to keep you sh- keep showing you uh, the scenery and stuff like that and, and i i can't uh, entertain you with the, my uh, sweet talks <laughs> it doesn't make sense do does it okay so uh, so keep that in mind okay see i don't know which main road was that did i miss it or uh, it is coming from somewhere else i don't know there are no markings to say where it is going and <laughs> it's very very irritating actually to talk about are right, which side should i go now which side should i go god see people how they follow they they should go here and take the right there okay they don't do that they don't do that why they don't do that i don't don't i don't know that <laughs> okay so um uh, what 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 is it? i was just going I, i so it's a long journey <clears throat> 11 hours right now even it is still it is saying uh, 10 hours so there should be something that uh, which i could uh, uh, talk to you about it right? and i'm in a great spirit today okay not that spirit uh, i mean i'm in a great uh, mood today okay but let us see the sun is coming up hard and fast and shining and brightening and heating and all that <laughs> okay so um, let us catch up uh, on the ways no catch up eh? <laughs> only catch up <laughs> come on let us go <laughs> See, we're at like three and a half hours later, almost four hours. Okay, I've been driving non-stop. I wanted to take a break, but God pushed it. <laughs> He gave me a break. See, there's no vehicle coming from the other side, nor is anything going from this side. Look at my darling; she's sitting there. You know why? Okay, why nothing is happening is because high tension wire has fallen <laughs> there. I don't know whether they're doing any kind of work or not. I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. I don't know for how long. I I just came out uh, yeah, for about a minute back. The heat is so much that my every you know if I touch anything, it's sticky. I was so fresh till now. <laughs> it's gone. I don't know how many hours I'll have to be here. Oh, wish me all the best. Look at these people. They've ja- started jamming up on this side. They're all born in seven months. Yeah, no patience. Okay, if the uh, people from the other side have done the same, I don't think we'll ever go from here. Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! What what do these people yeah. see? They are supposed to be on the other side of the uh, track. They are here. <laughs> the road is cleared, but uh, the, we can't keep up speed or pick up speed because. <laughs> the traffic i was actually in one of the first lanes so you know so i can sprint <laughs> look at them i will be there only baby all day be there <laughs> why don't you follow the rules okay see let's see how how big the jam is okay <laughs> i want to stop by for uh, for munching something but i know that if i do that now all the people are behind me will overtake me and then i'll have to over re overtake them back Which is going to be very, very irritating. So I want to stop. I will keep going. Now this side also is jammed because all the people were in front of me. No, okay. Uh, I have to overtake them. Oh, there is a, there is a small village here. I think. Let us find out. I was just observing. There's a lot of greenery already, but I think it will be even more when it starts raining. That's something that you can keep in mind when you actually come, come to uh, Bihar. but the one thing is you can only deal with the heat that is something which is which will really bother you really bother you there on a river called kosi river and this is the kosi bridge okay what is this guy doing he's on the wrong side huh okay let us see the length of the bridge okay and then decide how how much of water will be here when it is you know uh, during the monsoon come on come on let's go
that bridge was exactly two kilometers long and uh, when I reached this side of the bank there was water in the middle there was no water okay so I'm I'm sure that uh, during peak season the water is going to be plenty and it'll be it'll be a wonderful sight to see just keep so imagine so I, and if you can spend the time with that <laughs> imagination <coughs> it's 60 65 kilometers since we, if we entered um, uh, you know, West Bengal uh, but um, a, a portion of it called Kishin Ganj okay um, I know it's, it's you cross Bihar you enter Uttar Pradesh uh, sorry uh, what is this uh, West Bengal and uh, but a place called Kishin Ganj it belongs to Bihar I was kind of confused what is it when I spoke to them they said the reason one of the thing why I, how I found out was I stopped there to fill fuel because it was down to uh, two bars and uh, it, they said 109 rupees I said what nonsense it's 105 rupees more okay and then when I did inquire they said that this belongs to Bihar how is that possible yeah a portion of it is in you know uh, belongs to Bihar and the, all around it is, is, is Bengal and now why am I recording it is see the sea it's at least greenery that you can see all around something something to look forward to which wasn't there okay and uh, the roads are pathetic much before this I'm telling you you can say that 450 right 455 kilometers I've done today 80% uh, uh, of it is bad yeah 80% of it is bad I didn't like it this is the smoothness that you look for I paid toll like uh, close to about 800 bucks I paid toll okay and uh, road is pathetic and no I mean how in the world will you bring bring it bring uh, the notice to the government I don't know about it anyway I mean this is this is the part what we're doing is exploring uh, India right so we're exploring and understanding it so you also get an idea about uh, how you we, what you would face when you actually uh, uh, you know start driving down but here I feel good about it okay chalo let us go this is quite surprising for me for the last 20 kilometers I'm still 35 kilometers away from uh, Siliguri the hills have not started but I see a whole lot of uh, tea plantations which have which have come up, which people are uh, doing uh, doing the the labor work to pluck the the leaves. I don't understand. I've seen only in hills, but not on plain areas. If you have any idea, do let me know. Comment and let me know. Okay.